Ladies and gents, this is bout number eight. This is a five two minute round contest sponsored by Galaxy Personnel. This fight is for the vacant 60 kilo cadet kickboxing area title. Introducing to him fighting out of the blue corner with the all black pants with silver and white trim to the sides. From Pro Taekwondo, give a round of applause for Ryan Meredith. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner from BKA in the all black pants. Give a round of applause for Taylor Rogers. Well, it is time for the cadet area kickboxing title here. Matched at 60 kilograms and your competitors are Taylor Rogers from the BKA Braintree Kickboxing and Ryan Meredith from the Pro Taekwon London. Full contact kickboxing record, five wins, two losses. And uh, K1 record the other way of two wins, no losses. Kickboxing record of one win, no losses. 16 and 17 years. We've seen these guys before. And I tell you what, these are two talented young fighters. And I have big expectations for this bout. Meredith has been fighting since he was six years old. I'm training anyway. Meredith looking very, very composed there. <coughs> Beautiful sidekick. Yeah, distancing's on point, isn't it? Just a little bit out of range is Rogers at the moment, but I'm sure Politics! that can change. <laughs> good start to this bout. Really good start to this bout. Uh, sizing each other up, but as you said, Meredith is uh, definitely more composed. He's doing a good job of controlling the distance. He's very side on, he's using that side kick and he's boxing when he comes in. 16, 17 years old. Rogers is superb and I saw him before. Been training for three years, comes from a freestyle kickboxing background, has beaten a lot of high quality black belts and adults in previous tournaments who have had a similar style to him. He's looking for a knockout here tonight. But getting tagged on the way in, isn't he? He is. he is. Very good distance control from Meredith. Turning his back there as well, Rogers, which isn't good. Now both fighters' corners have been watching videos of their opponent. And they've got specific game plans in place here tonight. The fight has been arranged at the perfect time as there's already at the peak of fitness to partake in it. Rogers doing some good work on the inside there. He's just got to try not to get tagged on the way and maybe throw a few feints or step off to the side. Get behind that jab a little bit more. Good. Just kick. kick That's it. from Rogers. His timing and distancing is now starting to match that of Meredith for me, who at the beginning was streets ahead. Yeah. Very good first round. Rogers coming on strong at the end there, and I would definitely see in this second round I can see him maybe taking that distance away from Meredith he, he, he needed to do something there and as we said the, the first minute or so of that round it, it was all Meredith's and Rogers had to uh, find his range get inside and, and he started to do that towards the end so we're 
you think that was mental attributes to you, David, where he was so calm and relaxed as that fight started? I, th I think so, yeah. I think I think uh, Rogers probably went in there too a bit like gung-ho, a bit bit kind of wanted to, to, to be in the face of his opponent and Meredith just showed a bit more composure to, to take a step back and make, make Rogers you well, know, not be in range. Second time I've seen Rogers this is. First time I saw him, I thought he was superb. So I'm expecting a big second round here from Taylor Rogers from Braintree. Ryan Meredith may be in the driving seat after the first round, but this is the second of five two-minute rounds in this cadet area kickboxing title bout. Superb combination work. He's also going in that southpaw stance as well, which is tricky to deal with. But Rogers getting inside. He just needs to take that side kick away from him. Maybe take a step out and step inside when he throws it. Look how they hold on to each other. Two cunning fighters at a young age here. They know if you're going to let go first, you're going to get hit. And they are hitting on the break as well. Very game. Good match up here again. Oh, superb. That Switched his footwork and landed the punch. Amazing footwork. On, great, great footwork. And, and the, the overhand right as well to connect. Two but talented young kids here. Rawson looks a little bit too natural for Meredith. His footwork is just so slick. I'll tell you something right now. These two kids are young. I see many a professional bout here. Not here on many shows. They don't have the quality that these two kids have. Definitely not the promise. Definitely two fighters here for the future. Big prospect to both of them. Brilliant, yeah, blood. rolls his head down, doesn't roll too low, rolls himself out of trouble. Sometimes you see fighters roll their head down and looks dangerous. He brought himself out and landed a very good shot at the end of it. There's a bit of blood coming from Meredith's nose there. Yeah, Rogers has landed some superb punches, that's why David, my friend. And he's got good support behind him here as well. well Rogers coming on around. strong at the end of this round again. That other cut's working wonders for him. Slipping out the way, then throwing it in. And he knows in. that as well as we do here in the commentary books, doesn't he? He's seen that punch landing, and now he's got confidence in that shot. What another bout here, a victory yeah. kickboxing series. Oh, beautiful. I mean, all of these two kids, I think they're fantastic. And a brilliant round, which I think sets this card even. Very hard for the judges to score still. Remember, this one is going five rounds, not three. So, we've got a bit more boxing to come yet, lads. These, these two kids, it's inexperience that puts them into five rounds, boys. If you look at the fitness of these two kids, they're 12 round fighters, aren't they? It's definitely 12 round fighters. The, the pace has not slowed. Rogers always coming on strong at the end of the round. Meredith starting off strong. You I'd can like see to see how they're breathing in the break as well. Look, they're ready to go out now. They're fresh. They're fresh now. They've obviously done the cardio. I am predicting that three, four, and five rounds will be furious here. If Rogers can utilise the kicks of Meredith, he'll have a lot of an easier night. Meredith puts together his combinations well, doesn't he? Beautiful footwork as well. The footwork, where he skipped round and threw that shot, I thought it was superb in that last round. Lomachenko style. Yeah, really was, wasn't it? Well, Rogers just edging on the outside the distance then coming in, which is nice to see. Good ring work from Rogers as well. Starting to control the ring a little bit. A good push kick. There's that uppercut again from Rogers. Tracking down his prey, pushing him back to the ropes, starting to control the ring. But, but Meredith is superb with his back to the ropes. I mean, that's where Meredith's strong point is here. When he's, when he's, you feel like he's trapped in a tight corner, his footwork there, yeah. just gets him out of there. Little that's pivot, a, and he's away. Changes his point and hits. Three of us here in the commentary box, and everyone has said the right F word for <laughs> standing back and walking around, which is the footwork. And it's, look, look how freely he kicks up to the head as well. Beautiful kicking, but Rogers' defense work, there's not a lot getting through. You know, yeah. some fighters are uncomfortable to watch, especially at this age. These fighters are very comfortable to watch. Great ability in defense, both of them. It's 
Starting to hold his head down low there. He might get told for holding here rather than having a low head here. But he has got to keep his head up. No, he is ducking low. Yep. That, uh, the ref I agree with the referee there. It's almost like he heard me in the commentary box then. He's just looking after the fight as well, being as well there. You can't be putting your head down. You're just asking for trouble. A couple of times, I think Rogers has actually pulled out of the kick there on gentlemen's reasons. Yeah. Tracking it down, finds a great kick there. Big round for Rogers there so far. Brilliant. He's starting to take over with his pressure. Land oh, oh, beautiful. And beautiful uppercut. uppercut. Massive round for Rogers. Massive round. Massive round for Fantastic Rogers. Fantastic round that. He's figured out the distance of Meredith now and he's neutralised it and he's getting inside of the work. But Meredith, when he, when he uses that footwork and he pivots off, he, he's hitting. It's really, really nice to watch. It's just whether he can keep that pace up for the next two There's rounds. No doubt. Exactly what you're saying there, my friend. Ryan Meredith is beautiful to watch when he gets going in his combination work. It's what's making a really good matchup. Rogers is clinical though, and he's up in his product as the fight is going on here in front of us. I, th I think he lost that first round, to be honest with you. He did, yep, 100%. The, the side kick of Meredith in that first round was beautiful, it kept the distance, and Rogers struggled, but now. You can just see his experience taking over and he, he's getting inside the distance. But don't write anything away from Meredith because he's, he's... No, listen, these, these two guys are very, very similar in experience as well. It's a really, really clean matchup here on Victory Kickboxing Series. And a, listen, a brilliant little light cadet title as well on the line, which adds a little bit of spark to this. Massive that push kick take. to the face on the side, yep. Lightens up his feet as he goes backwards, getting ready to shoot. There's the uppercut from Rogers as he chases him down. Trying it again. And I think Meredith, to be fair to him, is wising up to the uppercut here as well. Yes, I think he needs to use the length of them kicks a bit. Oh, beautiful headshot. Listen, just as you said that, that is the timing of the commentator. Just as Bates said it, he push kicks him in the head, then throws the roundhouse as well. Two superbly scored punches. Very, very, very good kickboxing there. From this is clean in the middle, isn't it, boys? Sometimes fighters will, will risk not throwing the same shot every time due to repetitiveness, wanting to play at the crowd. And I think Meredith, if he just uses them long kicks a lot more, he's going to get an easy night out of it or make it easy for himself. Yeah, as he lets Rogers Oh, beautiful in, right. head kick. Now, Rogers needs to go to work. Rogers took the last round emphatically for me. He really did. This round he's come out and he's met a different Ryan Meredith. This kid has got huge attributes and talent. Oh. I can't call this one, lads. This, uh, oh, and he counters as with that nice strip punch. As soon as you think one of, one of the fighters is getting on top, the other one answers with, with equally as good boxing. And Blood pouring now, from the nose of Rogers now. I think it was from that kick, wasn't it? Any number of shots. It's really leaking. Fluently kicks to the head, Meredith. His boxing's coming on nice as well. Now he's fighting on the inside. Rogers just taking his foot off the gas a little bit. I think Rogers is hurt as well. Yeah, he's hit. But then he comes straight back. Oh, beautiful shot. Aggression. Just needs to warlord his way through. Once Meredith goes on tune and starts to put his shots together, you just got to warlord through them. Massive round for Meredith, and I tell you wow. what, if you're a gambling man, put your money in your pocket and don't go anywhere near this fight, I tell you that right now. A superb show for both of these kids, and one of them is going to go away. Cadet area champion here today. It's crazy to think with the standard of kickboxing we've seen in this fight is, you know, this is still superb. an amateur fight. Yeah, superb. These are two amateurs that will be transition into the professional game. It's as simple as that, isn't it? Both guys could easily transition into the sort of, under the kickboxing scene, the more K1 rules style with those, both those styles would suit really, They're really proper, well. They are proper kickboxers, aren't they? Proper kickboxers. They're not K1 style, are they? They are proper kickboxers. This is nice, but those kicks, are, they're phenomenal. As of nowadays, as we stand in 2000, and 19, the not so traditional kickboxing for nowadays. 
And these guys are putting on a great display, showcasing. What a warlord he is as well, Rogers. Tracks down, blood pouring from his face, stares his opponent down as he charges in and tries to get that right hand moving. But I think Meredith is wise to those punches now and is moving very, very well. Hitting, moving, spinning, pivoting. He's really, really good performance. And maybe Rogers is just that little bit hurt. What's the difference between these two fighters here? What is the key difference, would you say? It's the footwork. It is, it's the footwork it? and the distance control. Rogers round three I'm was setting you phenomenal. you up, Jamie. You know that, don't you? I'm you are. I want you to say it. It's not only the footwork. Um, we all know that, that Meredith has got fantastic footwork. But his ability to change his fighting style yep. to counter Rogers is. That's also that. Fluent He's from Southpaw to Orthodox. And Meredith, I tell you what, I... There was a point in this fight where I thought Rogers was going to just go through the gears and turbocharge him out of there. Wrong. Round three, he took over, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if that nose is broken. Yeah, I, I, a I lot think of blood it, coming a, from there. It's a lot of blood. Don't uh, worry, kiddo. Once it's broken a few times, you will not be feeling that anymore. <laughs> Rogers, relentless. Rogers. Yeah, relentless. Oh. Warrior brand fighter here. And I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the best amateur fights I've seen for a long, long time. Wow. Victory kickboxing series. Congratulations to the promoters for getting this one on. It has been superb. I'm glad we've been treated to another two rounds of this. Unbelievable. I could watch this for another seven. Yeah. Sure. Oh, back and forth. This had everything, all the attributes you need of a fighter. This has had the lot. Amazing fight. Both guys keep going on to do amazing things in their careers. Both very young. I'm going to go on record, Jamie and David, and saying that's one of the best amateur fights I've ever seen. That's one of the best amateur fights I'm I've serious. ever seen. Yeah. That's the best kickboxing fight under those rules set I've seen in years. Well, that's it. I think we were saying earlier that, you know, K1's more taking over and, and then you see a kickboxing fight like that and you think, it's here to stay. It's true. If all kickboxing fights were like that, it, it, it would be st still what it was 10 years ago, 15 years ago. Before we give this decision, can we have a round of applause for both of these fighters, the cadets here this evening? And what a fight it was to toe-to-toe -to -toe action. I did say earlier, ladies and gents, that this event is sanctioned by the ISKA and we do have the pleasure and company of uh, Mr. Paul Nichols, who is the Director for Rules and Regulations for the ISKA. And also, we are going to ask him to come into the ring. You may look at the gentleman and think, I've seen him somewhere before. Yes, you have. When we have uh, glory kickboxing on TV, this gentleman is the Chief Ref. Paul Nichols, ladies and gents. Give him a round of applause, thank you. Ladies and gents, again a great fight for the 60 kilo cadet kickboxing area title. Over five two minute rounds of judges have scored this contest unanimously in favor of the blue corner, Ryan Meredith. Please, ladies and gents, give a round of applause for the red corner, Taylor Rogers. He shook his head. He is gutted. He's worked so hard. But let me tell you, that man will be back once again. Taylor Rogers, ladies and gents, give him a round of applause. But your winner and now being presented with a 60 kilo kickboxing title belt, Paul Nichols. Thank you so much, Paul.